So I thought I would add to um, my little Christmas video here, this <laughs> cute little tree behind me. That was my mom's tree. That one's not, that one's not old or anything. It's just really pretty with the, you know, fiber optic bit to it. I always get a kick out of that. Um, <clears throat> but I was going to show some of these. You can see, I kind of turn the camera here. It's one of my grandmother's little decorations, and I'm guessing by the way that it's made, because I mean, you can see, you know, it's got the plastic and stuff on it. <clears throat> I'm guessing probably 50s. I think that was about the time um, when they made this kind of stuff. She even had, let's see if I can hold these here. You can see she even had some like little reindeer. And she had some white ones too, and they're really thin. I mean, they're like a plastic tube. These had a little um, little stake on them. So apparently she'd gotten uh, some sort of arrangement or something that these were in, and she decided to keep them because, I mean, you know, they're reindeer and they're cute, so of course. And then she's got um, a couple of these, which are cute, and it's that same plastic, so I'm assuming 50s. I don't think they go back to the 40s, but I'm thinking 50s is... Uh, probably when she got these which I'm just happy and grateful that you know any of her uh, decoration lasted and was saved you know for this long so there's that and then let's see this is a bigger one let me see if I can uh, pick this one up here there we go so you can see this little guy this is a really cute little arrangement just on just on styrofoam. Um, she didn't make it. I'm, you know, assuming this was something that um, was bought too. This is like the biggest piece that that she has, but it's really cute. So we have him, and then we have these. Okay, let's move that out of the way. These are. You're gonna say, oh well, that's more recent, just by looking at it, but. It's not the kind of plastic and stuff that we have out now um, that you can hang out. This is, if you can kind of hear it, it is a different kind of plastic, I guess, a different kind of material. Um, you can tell he's already got a little um, spot where he's been torn and somebody fixed him. So he's, he's very easily torn. <laughs> um, and then there is one other one. Is this my grandparents were uh, very religious they were church people and that was their they had their faith and so we have this and it's the, it's the same kind of material so we have to treat these very very carefully because they are very, very old okay, back over there so I just have a few um, things like that that were um, you know my grandmothers that I treasure, you know, I had so many, um, so many Christmases up here. I said uh, earlier in the video that for school break, we would come up here. And so even if we did like a little Christmas thing or something at the house, our main Christmas was up here. And, you know, my brother and his family were here when my grandmother was alive. And so we would all get together and, you know, do gifts. Um, usually on Christmas Eve and then of course Christmas Day was when Santa came and so we always had a tree and it's funny because I remember some Christmases that I was opening gifts in the kitchen now I, I couldn't tell you why I was opening gifts in, in the kitchen uh, maybe we had something going on in the den because the den was where we always usually uh, set up you know the tree and, and decorated it and um, you know, Mama, my grandmother, uh, was in a hospital bed, and but she stayed in the den. So the den was was kind of her, you know, bedroom, um, in a sense. But it was still the visiting area. Everybody still gathered there and and such. And so I remember, you know, quite a few Christmases where we were in there, and usually the the kids would, you know, hand out uh, hand out the gifts. So everybody would have their little pile and. And we'd all start opening and sometimes it was just you know everybody was just tearing into the into the gifts all at once and sometimes it was more 
sometimes, <laughs> you know, my mom or somebody would try to say, well, look, okay, you open one, you open one, like taking turns, but gosh, you know, when you've got little ones like that, if anybody wants to take turns, you want to tear into that stuff, rip off the paper and see what you got. Hopefully not clothes, right? <laughs> so, um, it was fun. It, it was fun. And I always remember that. And I always remember winter up here um, because where I'm from, we don't really have a winter, <laughs> uh, but up here we did. And December, I think was a little too early for the snow. So I didn't usually have a snowy Christmas. I think I had a snowy Christmas one time. I built like a little two foot uh, tiny snowman with my brother. We went out and had a, a little bitty um, <laughs> kind of snowball fight for what it was. And um, I used a little plastic uh, butter dish, the little round ones, you know, they really had more of those kind of back in the 80s, but there's probably like a cream cheese container, you know, like a Philadelphia cream cheese container, that kind of small thing. He was about that size. So that little cup ended up being his little hat. Yeah. Totally silly, but very cute. And I love the snow. I remember my mom, uh, I had my gloves and my mom put plastic bags over my gloves so that my hands wouldn't still get, you know, wet uh, from the snow and all that. But I do remember that, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, usually uh, over the holidays, I guess it just wasn't cold enough to snow. Usually that happened in like January and February. Um, and I think I mentioned before when I was doing the treats, you know, mom would always have her treats and so, there was always a plethora of something to eat, something to snack on, you know, something uh, sweet to grab. Um, I, I, I wish like hell that I'd been able to enjoy some of my grandmother's <clears throat> sweets and, and cooking and things, but she just, by the time I came along, you know, she just, she couldn't do that. Um, and so mom did most of it. Um, I remember, even though it didn't snow, it, it would still get really cold uh, here. And we would come in from, you know, visiting somebody, visiting family, you know, whatever. And the way that we had the heat, now we have, you know, regular air and, and heat now, but we had, um, I guess you'd call it a furnace. It, it, it came up from the floor and the heat came out that way and there was a grate over it. And so mom and I, especially, we would come in and we would stand near the grate or kind of over the, you know, the grate to get warm because the hallway was nice and warm. And as soon as you got further and further away from it, it, it wasn't as warm, but for the most part, it, it did a pretty good job of heating the house. And like most folks do, especially when they're older and in a bigger house, you end up closing off the rooms that you don't use, like the dining room and the living room and that kind of thing. And so those rooms were ice cold because the door stayed shut and, you know, we put the long, skinny, whatever you want to call them, uh, down in front of the door. So they truly were ice cold and the rest of the house was was pretty comfortable. So just some just some random things. Oh, and I remember one uh, Christmas too, and I, I was young. I remember I got this little sort of dressing table and I mean it was you know tiny because it was for a child and there was like kind of like a middle part that opened and there were little side parts that open and I remember having that in the den and I remember having my cousins over and <laughs> for some reason that Christmas that was just my favorite thing I just thought that that little table uh, was just fantastic you know and I kind of liked showing it off to them so Christmases were just really special and and they were really fun oh and there was another one i remember i'm i must have gotten up you know, probably to go to the bathroom or get something to drink or whatever and i wasn't a big one for getting up in the middle of the night and you know roaming around especially on christmas i, I just wasn't that child that was the problem child like oh we've got to watch somebody because so and so is going to be up and you know i usually went right to bed and didn't get up till the morning but this particular time up here uh, i did i remember getting up and I'm trying to remember if it was when kind of we were doing the Christmas in the kitchen or if we were still in the den, but I remember I, both parents, you know, of course were up and one of them was kind of standing guard watching me, <laughs> not letting me in the room or whatever. And I'm trying to remember if I was old enough to know, you know, that there w was no Santa or not. I really don't remember. I, I just remember the getting up and kind of one of them, you know, standing guard and 
I really don't remember if I still believed in Santa at that point, but I will tell you this story. Uh, and this does not apply it up here. This, this applies to home. I don't know about you. Tell me, you know, in, in the comments, when did you learn or discover or whatever that there was no Santa Claus? I'll tell you my story. My story is I was very young, very young, because I, I just barely remember doing this. I had, you know, I had a bunch of Barbie dolls. I had one Barbie doll in particular that I didn't, she wasn't my favorite, you know, and so me, I was trying to, I guess, be a generous child or be thoughtful or whatever, and, and I just thought, well, I'm going to leave it for Santa, and I'm gonna write a little note, and so hopefully he can take it and he can give it to, you know, another girl, little girl or little boy, whatever, I don't judge, um, that didn't have a Barbie doll. And I, even though I was so young, I was kind of very proud of that. Like I, I felt good doing that. I felt good taking something and saying, here, well, I'm not playing with it, or, you know, I don't want it or whatever. And so, I want to give it to Santa so he can give it to somebody else. And that made me feel really good. Well, when Christmas morning came, you know, most kids are, you know, running to the, to the tree uh, to see what they've got and whatever. I went straight to where I had left the doll and the note. And the doll and the note were still there. And I'll admit, I was crushed. I, I just was like, and I don't remember past that. Like, I don't remember what I said. I don't remember what the parents said. I'm sure, you know, I mentioned like, oh, you know, Santa didn't take my doll. And I'm sure that mom and dad probably said, well, he just, sure he just missed it. He was busy. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure there was that kind of conversation. I just don't recall that part. I just remember seeing her and just, I mean, I was very sad and I was crestfallen and I was, I, I couldn't believe that, that Santa didn't take it. And, and I think that's when I kind of learned or kind of figured out that, that there wasn't Santa, that there wasn't Santa and, you know, and it was parents and, and, and that's fine. Very grateful for all the stuff that the parents do, uh, in Santa's name. Right. Um, but that was so hard. And, and I think sometimes as parents, you know, parents don't realize once they get older what that kind of stuff means. Like, you know, I'm I'm sure, you know, mom just missed it or wasn't thinking about it or whatever because my mom was thorough when it when it came to stuff. So I'm quite certain it was it was just, you know, an honest mistake. But she really needed to take that doll and hide it or something like that so that I would think that Santa had it because I've never forgotten that. I've never forgotten it and and I've never forgotten how that felt to come out and just oh, she's still here oh no this is awful I still remember that and I think once the kids grow up to become parents I think a lot of times we forget those feelings um, how those things stick with us and so a, a lot of times when the kids come along we try to downplay stuff. No, don't worry about it, and this, that, whatever. Well, when you were younger and something had hurt you or affected you or whatever, I mean, did you want somebody telling you, oh, just don't worry about it, whatever. It's different for children. You know, it, what things affect children differently than it does adults. There are things that are very big deals to children that obviously are not to adults, but we need to remember that it is a big deal for the kids and that these kinds of things do stick with them. So anyway, that's my little <laughs> discovering there was no Santa story. And it's funny as I've been going through all of, you know, mom's things and stuff the last few years, I've not run across that note. I kind of figured that might be one thing that she would have, um, you know, kept because she kept a lot. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen that. So who knows, maybe one day I will um, run across it, but it's been nice to kind of spend uh, the last Christmas here. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's sad, it's bittersweet, and I have you know fought tears a number of times, even now, because <laughs> every time I talk about not being here, it just, as y'all have seen in other videos, it just, it really, it gets me, because it's, 
It's just one of those things. I mean, you either feel it and you get it or you, or you don't. I know there's, there's people that probably think, okay, she's off her rocker, <laughs> but I'm not. It, it's just, this is what's important to me and this is what reaches me and, you know, it's what means a lot to me. So, so being here has, has been good. And of course, like I said, all of this is part of, you know, kind of the, the process of trying to say goodbye and, and trying to let go. Um, I mean, let's face it, I'm never 100% going to let go because it's always going to be here and it's always going to be here and I'm going to have so much tangible, uh, you know, to keep, but, but it's still rough. It's still rough. So I have, I've tried to make it meaningful and, you know, doing some little videos and things like this. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm, I'm here, um. I think it would make my grandparents and you know my parents happy um, for me to be doing this so like I always remind you time is precious carpe diem seize the day I'll see you next time